She shakes the glass of the little window in her kitchen, looking out in the junkyard across the street while her son pushes a little blue die-cast car across the hardwood floor. The button on his overalls lost to a pack rat living somewhere in the walls behind the electronic appliances that could shock and kill him any day now. But that rat dances on death like he doesn't even think about it. A writer sits in a toll booth down the street reading literature no one else has read in a hundred years or more, and he feels nostalgia for something that he's never even experienced or heard about before he cracked open the dusty book, now resting on his lap beside the Coke can he holds in his other hand, the metal top sprinkled with droplets of whiskey that he couldn't quite get down the mouth hole with the rest of the book. Looking out at the sun go slowly down over the east coast hills, covering the Atlantic like the ocean is a conspiracy. Never existing except in old books like Moby Dick and in old pictures drawn on the back of envelopes while men ride trains across the country in the mid-1850s. barbershops when all the men are dead enough to not need haircuts but alive enough to occupy the corner bar on a Sunday night, playing slow jazz over the internet jukebox. A man in a brown trench coat hacking away on his typewriter in unison with the bass playing over the loudspeaker, vibrating the beer mugs and shot glasses but none of them break. Thank you.